Okay, boys and girls, Avi Oziel here again in your gold recovery journey. But in fact, today we're going to talk about something else. It's another precious metal, which is not gold. It's actually called tantalum. Um, it happens to be more rare than gold itself. And um, it goes for about $80 a pound. So if you want to collect these off your circuit boards, you probably will get um, more money than the gold itself. So tantalum is pretty much a very rare, precious metal um, that's pretty much uh, in a shortage right now in Canada. But before we get to the tantalum capacitors, I'm going to just go over a few of the regular capacitors. As you can see here, basically these things are all over any kind of circuit board. And they have the capacity to hold electricity. So they're like kind of batteries per se and they hold different charges. Some are in different sizes. They come in all different colors. They have different readings on them. I don't know if you can get that. But the purpose of this video is to show you what a tantalum capacitor is and why it's so important and very valuable. So I have some in here, actually, if you can see. Most of the tantalum capacitors are gonna be mustard in color, so pretty much yellow and they're kind of small and the reason why they're so expensive is because this little capacitor here probably has the same amount of capacity to hold an equal amount of charge to a ceramic capacitor as you see right here so it also has a much higher temperature so it can go at a lot higher um, usage without leaking these things here tend to leak and don't have much of a uh, long range use. Now, so let's take a look at these circuit boards here where you can identify where the tantalum capacitors are. They do come in different shapes. Most of them happen to be small square or rectangular shape, but this one happens to be a oval kind of shape. You'll notice them by the color. So if you see any yellow or mustard looking capacitors, they're probably tantalum. And I'm going to just go through a couple of circuit boards here that I have stripped. This is a motherboard, as you can see, I've kind of pried it open. But if you look closely here, there's one. And they use these in high-grade electronics and computers because of the size requirements. So you can fit a couple of these small tantalum capacitors inside a cell phone where you wouldn't normally have the space to put them in with the regular size ceramic capacitors. So imagine if you had the equivalent of these two capacitors here which are made of tantalum, put them into ceramic, your cell phone will probably be five times the size. And that's the way they were back in the day. If you remember those old Motorola cell phones that were the size of the cordless telephones that it, uh, we have today. So pretty much that's what happened in the advancement of technology these tantalum capacitors have taken the place of the old-fashioned capacitors. So let's put this board aside. I'll show you some other boards that we got here. Let's see. Now this one happens to have a lot of tantalum on it. So this was from an Apple computer that I got. And this is an older board. You can see all these chips. So they're pretty easy to identify. If you just see these yellow looking, this one's got a load of them. And these are very, very rare and very, very precious. In fact, they're worth more than gold itself. So if you do see these on your circuit boards, do collect them. If you want to sell them, they're worth $80 a pound. You can see there's more on the back here. They're all over the place. They have a capacity to hold a large charge. Let's see what else we get. So, see, as you can see, that's a little bit of gold. So that tells me that inside that chip, there's going to be more gold. But let's look for those little capacitors now. Oh, we can find one. What's that? Oh, that's something else. So let's take a look on the other side. That one didn't have. This one has right there. I can see them right now. So if you can take a look, those little yellow buggers 
are worth a lot of money, believe it or not. And a lot of people don't know about this, so they just pass it by and they only go for the main stuff on the boards like the CPUs and the RAM and all the other visible gold or silver looking things. But if you actually do some research and find out what are these little tiny things that are on the board, such as the monolithic capacitors that have palladium and platinum in there, if you can take a look, all these little tiny boxes have platinum and palladium and silver inside them. And there's gold that's used as a way to uh, connect it to the circuit board. So it is time consuming to take these out properly. And if you don't take them out well enough, they're going to actually crumple. So you got to be careful. Now look at this one. This is actually a tantalum capacitor that's different size. It's not a normal box. But as you can tell, that is silver right there. It has to be silver. So if you see a tantalum capacitor, you will know that there's silver connecting it to the circuit board. All the others don't have to be. Usually the tin solder has a very low percentage of silver in the other elements. But for the tantalum capacitors, because they're very high voltage and they do carry higher heat, and the conductivity has to be of a higher grade, which is, of course, the best conductor known is silver. So this is an old graphics card, ATI card. I'm just looking for some tantalum here. Don't seem to find any. Actually, yeah, I found one right there. See, there's one. See anything in the back. And we got another one I can see right there. So basically, you're looking for anything that's yellow mustard looking don't eat them I know the mustard sandwich may be tempting but do not open these up because if you do they won't be worth as much you can open one up to see what it looks like inside I can bust a few open here maybe you can see what they look like close up basically the metal if you take a look here So I'm going to bring this open to the camera, if I can find that, there it is. Okay, so that's what tantalum is. It's kind of a blackish, kind of looks like rhodium. So rhodium is also a very rare precious metal, which also has a very, very um, significant value to it as well. So there's a lot of valuable items in these boards um, I'll buy it there in smaller quantities however if you do the proper research and if you have some spare time instead of just watching TV or going on the internet and Facebook and all that stuff you can actually take a look at your old computer parts that you're not using and see what you can find just for fun doesn't have to be a way of making money this is just kind of an educational cool way of realizing how these electronics actually work all day long people are in their iPhones and Blackberries and Androids and tablets and laptops and computers and TVs and do we really know what's inside them and what makes them work so it's kind of uh, very interesting to learn about these uh, capacitors and as you can see these different elements on the board and how it all comes together is pretty fascinating with the copper wiring and the silver plating and the platinum and palladium that's inside these monolithic and CPUs and all the other different parts of the computer. I'm still learning a lot and um, trying to identify the different parts as you can see here. There's different types of capacitors and wires all over the place but at the end of the day it's an educational experience for everybody including myself and it does have a little bit of incentive as far as making a little extra you know coin as well so if you do happen to have a stockpile of old computer parts do look for these small yellow mustard looking boxes the older the circuit board the more you'll find this happens to be an older board so they required I guess more power to power all these chips so all these chips right here 
are being powered by all those little tiny capacitors. So it's kind of basically the power supply for the card. So you have all these chips and the power that's running all those chips, the data that's going to be going through them is being stored in here. And formally, I'm kind of stuck to my board. In the back, you have a few more. So just look out for the yellow ones. They are worth some money. And they are very, very rare. If you do a Google and find out all about tantalum, you'll see some very interesting videos. There's a shortage of tantalum in Canada right now. And Germany is making a way of refining tantalum. And China is doing all kinds of uh, tantalum exporting and refining so uh, do some googling because this was new to me as well I didn't really know much about tantalum and uh, it's kind of interesting so that's all for now so if you do see these yellow boxes on your circuit boards put them aside put them in a little container if you have one or a little ziploc bag and here's what they look like again close up they're kind of cool looking things don't eat them don't feed them to your pets Please do keep them away from children because this stuff is not a joke. They can choke on them um, and who knows what's inside them. So please, if you do happen to take apart your computers and other electronic circuit boards, do it in a safe area. Make sure your stuff is properly stored away from pets, children, and um, of course, keep your own safety in mind. Try and wear gloves if you can. Um, if you got a couple of tools, this tool right here is very useful for taking those capacitors off of the circuit board. Uh, or you can get a chisel right here. That's a nice little chisel I picked up. Uh, these things just scrape it away. And, you know, a couple of other tools. You have a little pair of tweezers here. And anything else that may find uh, useful for you. So that's all for now. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video on tantalum capacitors and um, put these little buggers aside because they're worth money. So just keep that in mind. Take care.